Welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. This is going to be channel messages. Um, I do have my palm reading cards. They have words on them. I'm just going to look at the words. First words I see. See what the message spirit want me to relay to you. Thank you all for watching. Just kind of sit back. I'm just going to kind of read it off. See, you use your intuition. You know, let your soul hear and see if this resonates. All right. If it do, hit the like button. If it don't, hit the like button. Just to support. And there's other videos you can watch on my channel. And book a reading if you need for guidance. All right. All right, here we go. Holy Spirit, what's the messages? What's the energies? What's the current energies? Anybody watching trying to watch this channel today? What messages messages do they need to hear? And digest. Show me what I need to see. Somebody need to get it together. They feel like they need to get it together. Your brain, intellect. You have an appetite for intellect. Very smart. Could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Don't necessarily have to. You got the Jupiter out here. You could be definitely uh, into finances. I feel like you're going to get prosperity when you be by yourself here. You may be under a father figure here, someone. The emperor talked about a father figure. We got Saturn on the board, talked about father lessons. Somebody is planning a commitment to be happy. It's important. It's important to you to be happy. I feel like you feel like, hey, I'll, I'll be single. I'll be single until I get my happiness. Okay, I'll be in my power until I get my happiness because I'm committed to my happiness based on my lessons that I've learned. I'm an empath, empathetic. You may be an empath. You may be empathetic. You may feel. Yeah, you work with your hands. may have small hands. Small hands often indicate you see the bigger picture of it all. But because they're small, you can miss out on important detail. If you have large hands, um, your reach is larger. You enjoy examining others. You ask a lot of questions. Maybe something too small to see right now, but you gotta expand. We got Jupiter. You gotta expand. You gotta look beyond the horizon. You gotta see beneath the surface. You couldn't be having three people watching you, three females. You have a gap between you and your person. You could be thinking about a person a lot. But you're very self-centered. Very strongly opinionated. Some of y'all could have a strongly opinionated father here. And you got a gap between you and your father. Because he don't listen to you. You could be by yourself. You've moved out. He feels like it, he has the bigger, the bigger hand, so to speak. He asks a lot of questions about you. You may be a little insecure. Your hands may be smaller. Look at here. I said air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Very logical. You are easy to get along with. You have a very strong intuition. Very smart. Tell me more. 
It's a gap between you and a, another person. Clarify gap between you. My flying. It's a gap. In life, maybe long distance. Major gap in between. Somebody got a gap in their head. My flying. About to die. a gap i feel like it's like space yeah look at here communication mercury gap in between my head just getting a pain though you could definitely be thinking about it. you want to communicate it's a gap in between you and another person the lines are broken because you're one in a million a meal just came on five 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 Somebody may win a million dollars. Or maybe you won a million and it's a gap in between you and your family, your father, your somebody. Looks like they feel like you you just left. You left out the hood. You left. You didn't have no patience. Somebody got broken up here. Maybe left your job. The boss couldn't left his job. Maybe he was head of the company. Now it's a gap between him and work. Because he was highly sensitive. Could be impacted. Money don't drive you. you. You felt a lot of energies. You could have been going through a spiritual awakening. You got thick. Fleshy fingers, senses. Yeah, you got something with the hand. You have gifted hands or something. You can feel and sense easily. And you can understand the bigger picture here. You create with your hands. Some of y'all may be painting. Fingerprints here. Somebody could have found some fingerprints. Bullseye, target, somebody called. Okay, fans could have somebody fingerprint. Oh, that scared me. Confirmation. Oh, that scared me. Wow, I was in it and not just that scared me. Okay, feds, federal rallies located the fingerprint. They found the fingerprint. Led, led them right to you. They wasn't convinced. You ain't convinced about it or something. You still stuck in your traditional ways. You eager to contest somebody when they said the feds are coming. You think impossible, but they found the fingerprint. Looks similar to yours. You may have small hands, large hands, thick fingers. It overlapped. You overlooked the detail. Mm. And they caught a break in the case. Wow. This is getting deep, guys. <laughs> Let's keep going. This is a million dollar case or so something about some money. Somebody gonna win a million dollars. You don't have a good feeling. You got a good feeling you're going to win a million dollars. Some of y'all could gamble a lot. Spent time in prison because of it. So somebody stole a million dollars or something or a million dollars. Spent time in prison because of it. They found the fingerprint or you will. Again, I am a seer. Somebody spent time in confi confinement. Because if you look at this, she like she like in jail or something, like in confinement. Somebody could be in prison or jail or they spent some time in the pen for a million dollar case. Something they found the fingerprint. All right, let's keep going. Any other messages? 
That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what the writer said. Somebody wrote a book and said all this in a book. Some of y'all are very versatile. Y'all can write. Very smart. Could be detectives, police officer, uh, ambulance. You work with like nurse lifeline things like that. Material things. You definitely work with your hand. Could be pursuing a personal goal here. Since you left your ex. Could be going back to school, picking up a trade. Your name could be Lauren. Many people have fought you about this book or about the headline of it, or you could have fought back and forth about the title. Writers, writers, creative. Yeah, you're very creative. You might write books, write stories. You could be a writer, it calms you down. You're very imaginative. You like school. You like to write. I see a pencil desk. Some of y'all may be in school. College. College. Okay. Could be a college masculine here. Like to write. Very smart. Intellectual on that. Very cerebral. You got a, song, a strong sex drive. You could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Definitely picking up air sign for sure. You have a song, strong sex drive and you appreciate people's physical and features. You pleasure yourself to them or you're, you could be appreciating. Oh, okay, confirmation. Yeah, you think they're nice. They have nice boobs, nice breasts, something. They like your curves. But you got to proceed. You got to be cautious. Cautious about this person, Spirit is saying. Cautious about this love because it's critical towards you, collective. This person just trying to get a lifeline. Look at that. This may be your lifeline. He may just want to get a lifeline. That's your love lifeline. Look at this. We got Venus. That's what she said. This could be your love lifeline. So this could be a twin flame soulmate. And you thick and curvy. They like it. They pleasure themselves to it. But they trying to be cautious going towards you. Why? Because you're hard working. You're reliable. You do think you do things at face value, collector. If you say you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. And you spit that fact. You could dissect everything. You're an analytical thinker too. So he gotta be cautious and conservative around you because you'll pick up everything. Or you're a follower, or maybe you follow him, subscribe or something. This person not. This person feels like you're going to be controlling. Maybe this person is controlling, very logical, dominate, dominating, they want to dominate, and they feel like with you, they ain't going to be able to do that. Because you are serious, you have a serious outlook on life. They can't play them games with you. But also, you can get tempted with this person. But you think things through. You're really wise. You follow the rules. This person don't follow the rules. This person is very adventurous. This person is, they seek a challenge. And you're not like that. They enjoy attention. They can initiate drama. They want to flip out in reverse. This could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Who's a drama, drama person here.
And you don't have attention for this mundane stuff that they keep trying to do. It's like they're a drama star that they be trying to, like, get your attention by, like, you just stay relaxed. You, you're you not even, like, this person don't even, like, <laughs> get to you at all. This person is little on your mind. This person, you don't pay this person no attention here. You are too preoccupied. And that's the pressure. You put a lot of pressure on this person. Because this person got to grow the fuck up. Basically. And they in their head. They keep thinking a lot. Thinking a lot. Thinking a lot. Thinking a lot. Yeah. You socially minded. You take things in stride. You avoid confrontation. You don't, you don't, you're not a fighter. You're a palm reader. You, some of y'all could be readers. You give readings. You could see past, present, future. Secrets that people may not never tell anyone. People worry about that. Because they get negative. They don't want a negative prediction about like if they're going to die. They may can't handle it. They may be stressing them out. But you had the power to create the future that you want. You don't necessarily have to stick with the reading. If it is a reading like that, guys, you can always change your energy. Just because if you, we do see that in a reading, that don't necessarily mean that's going to be it. I mean, you have the power to change it. If you ain't doing no spell work or nothing like that. But we got Mars. Look at that. Mars talk about war, fighting, your extra protection, you got extra protection, because you're a reader, you're a high priestess, and fortune, and you see fortune in hand, so you don't need to fight, you can express your emotion through your heart, when things go wrong, you know how to pick yourself up when things go wrong. You find it easy to express your emotions. You speak through your heart. You have a good heart. And God is protecting you. Your name may be Alicia. Or A. Okay, a few last few cards, guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, becoming single is in reverse. So, you, some of you, this could be you in a relationship with another person. I feel like you're not using your logic here because it's in reverse. You act like you're never going to see them again. Or maybe this how this person acting to you. Yeah, judgment is in reverse. So, you made a bad judgment call. You got overly influenced with this person. You thought this was somebody um, that you can take as they are, but I don't think you can take this person. You could be sick of this person's personality. You don't want to. It's making you sick. Mentally, physically. You feel like you're going to leave this person and this person ain't going to never see you again. They put too much pressure on you. Got you all sick and stressed out. You can't get along with this person. Y'all could be fighting a lot. Closing up, spirit. Yeah, Nobby Knuckles, look. That's what she said. <laughs> y'all over here fighting, knuckling it up. Because you want you want stability, and this person is very unstable. But don't be fighting, guys. Don't be knuckle knuckle knucking and bucking. Because you're too logical. You know you take things carefully. And this person is very impulsive. You express your feelings, and they may not like that, and they trying to knuck knuck and buck you. You know that song, knuck if you buck. Ah. All right, this is the last one, guys. And the introduction in the bottom of the deck. Well, you're going to have signs of good fortune, love, and happiness here. 
I feel like you need to book a reading for real. You could be thinking about booking a reading. Go on to book a reading, man. So we can get this cleared up because you can't be knucking and bucking. You're not enjoying yourself. You're, nothing is successful there. You, you're not confident. And Spirit is saying you need to move forward so you can gain confidence out of that situation. Yeah, this person, don't see this person no more. <laughs> I feel like Spirit is saying. When you leave, don't see this person no more. Set yourself some goals and achieve them. And just grow and strive for your abundance. You know what I mean? Raise your vibration. When they go low, you go high. Enjoy life to the fullest. When you leave, you ain't going to see them again. I feel like that's what you're saying. I'm going to leave this person. I ain't seeing this person ever again. Because y'all went round and round, knucking and bucking. Next time, I feel like when you commit yourself in, in a relationship, it's going to be with true love. And, and Spirit is saying it will be for the long term. It's like you, once you learn your lessons on here, we have Saturn on the board, which talks about love. You never back down from a challenge and you're excited with new adventures. I feel like that's how you felt in the beginning. Like you, you were excited with this. You have a minor involved. You never back down from a challenge, you know. You was a bit nervous going into it, but you felt like okay, I got a I got a kid. This is my life. Some of y'all had a minor child with this person. Others of y'all, y'all just didn't stop to think and reflect on anything. You just jumped into this relationship or marriage or whatever. Yeah, you didn't use your caution. You didn't think. You didn't, like, take time to think. You just enthusiastic. Yeah, enthusiastic. You just jumped into it here. Whatever it is, whether it's a relationship or business adventure, I see child on the board. Some of y'all could just been a sex hookup, and now you got a child. And you're like, oh my gosh. Okay, final closing spirit. Now you got a minor and trying to figure out how you're going to do this. Some of y'all got two, three, or four kids. Up to six kids. They all minors. And you just relax about life, and you got a lot of kids to take care of. Well, somebody is here. You don't love this person. Heart came out in reverse. You don't have feelings for this person at all. The curves don't attract you. I mean, you just don't have no type of nothing with this person you with. You're not focused with this person. You, you're not considerate. It's not your fault, but you just really don't got no heart and no love for this person. Or vice versa, this person probably don't got no love for you. And you sitting there thinking, this person love you. Take y'all pick now. I feel like you reflecting. You're staying optimistic about everything, though. You're trying to stay positive. Trying to keep your vibrations high. But you really want to run. You don't like this person. You don't have no type of feelings for this person at all. And that's major. This person is giving major evil eye, major hate. This person is very emotional. She could be doing spell work or watching you and being emotional. I don't know. I feel like somebody want a lifeline or they going to be on a lifeline. Or they got three major lifelines or some lifeline here. It's going to be out soon or something. Single, yeah. I feel like this relationship partnership is on this last lifeline. Like, I feel like you're out of there. You're usually a good judge of character, but this person kind of slipped you one. 
because they was affectionate, very affectionate towards you. You thought this person was really nice. And come to find out, nah, not so much. They was the worst thing that you could ever did in life. You lost faith in everything. You didn't, you didn't focus on your goals. You just act on a gut feeling. You felt like you weren't afraid to fail or you wanted to face it head on, but you didn't use your intuition on any of this stuff. It's one thing to take a leap, but not when you're t- marrying a person or making life decisions. You, know. you didn't take well to criticism. Maybe somebody was telling you, hey, man, don't don't marry this person. You, you want to think about it, and you was getting mad about that. So you wanted to do it your own way and, and jumped on in a relationship with this person. Very spontaneous. You thought this person was a good judge of character. Towards the end, you just tried to focus on, you know, the meaningful things, fulfilling things in your life. I don't know if this is a dead person, live person. I may be talking to all the energies. I think we all can kind of get life lessons on this reading here. This is Mindy. I think all of us kind of felt these ways. One time point of our life, past, present, or future, right? 26, 26 on the clock. You're just a traditional conservative person, you know. You stick to what you know, and you find it difficult to take risks. And so you kind of got with a person who take risks because you thought, yeah, okay. I'm not a person who take risks. This is a person who would take risks. Maybe this person can help me. But no, this person took risks on the wrong side of life. Confirmation. Sorry, my toilet goes off every time I I speak the truth. (laughs) So if y'all hear me say confirmation, I'll be hearing my, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I hear it. So now you're just a workaholic. You're just kind of trying to stick to work, 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 work. You're trying to balance work and pleasure. Uh, You're trying to be, or Spirit is saying, you need to balance that out, you know, be a little bit more flexible. Somebody, I ain't gonna lie, I see thick and stiff. Somebody could get like a hard on with you every time they see you. They see you very conservative when you workaholic. That could be turning them on. They be daydreaming about you. They want to travel with you. The person they with is very argumentative and stubborn. And like, they can't compromise with this person. Or maybe they feel like you argumentative and stubborn. Okay, last card. <laughs> but this be getting good. Okay, spirit, let's see. Could be talking to an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like the person, it's like they compare you to whoever they with. This could be Empress. You could be getting compared to a lot of people, to a lot of women at home, mates, right? So it's like this person is like, man, you're down to earth. You're stable. You you know what I mean? You're organized. You're reliable. And then they're looking at this person they with, and they're like, wow, she's very argumentative, impulsive. Um, I can't talk to her. She's impractical. Like, you know what I mean? It's like they're comparing the two. Can't you see? Or maybe Spirit is saying, can't you see? You got one person over here that's reliable, down to earth, patience, connecting with source. And then you with one person who's very impulsive, very argumentative. You're not happy here. Can't you see what you're missing here, collective? No. No one I'm talking to. Maybe you've been with a person for 25 years. You could be 25. Somebody could have totaled somebody's car. And they act like they they saying they couldn't see. Somebody couldn't see. They didn't see you. Somebody could have been in an accident. Somebody didn't see you. They didn't see somebody and they hit them. 
Okay, anyway. Go back to this. I have Apollo. Somebody could be from New York. I have 18. That could be significant. 93, 65, 78. I got 7, 14. Yeah, they saying a person lacked imagination. They, she didn't think outside the box. He or she. You enjoy competition. You're affectionate. You're entertaining. You're interested in the world and the universe. They they can take you around the world. They can't take this wild person around the world. She'd be embarrassing. He or she. Too low vibrational. Maybe she got a low development in her brain. And you're very intellectual. And the one they with is kind of like. I feel like the one that they're with or the person they're comparing you to was just thick, you know, had it maybe they had a nice body. It was all about looks and they jumped in on it and then like you came along and you're like in intellectual and smart and beautiful and conservative and all these things and magical and dependent and reliable and they can't believe it and it's like you could be on a platform and they're watching you, comparing you to who they got. You got good work ethic. You're easy to get along with. Some of y'all, these could be your coworkers that's really crushing on you and stuff. And you don't even know. You could have known them for a long time. You're not money orientated. So you're not like a gold digger. It's not always about money with you. You don't have to be around like a lot of peers. You can be by yourself. You don't judge. It's all about equality to you. They like that collective. I don't know who this is. I hope this reading helps. Take the situation as it goes. This could be how your person is feeling, whatever on your mind. This is what they want to communicate, Spirit is saying. They could be coming back around. Somebody needs to get a good lawyer. Y'all may be going to court or they need to have a good lawyer. Because they want a fair judgment so they can not go to jail, I guess, so they can come and talk to you. Or they may be reaching out because they need money for a legal case. Okay. Some musician is not giving you credit for your ideas. They could have copycatted off of you. Or you sung a part or you sung a song and they're trying to say they did it. Looking at that too. You need more credit for your ideas. These people ain't giving you your credit. Because you keep fixing everybody's errors and writing for people and they're not giving you your credit. You're way more disciplined than that. You're just scared of what others think of you, and you need to be more stronger, have more courage, go with your heart, go forward fearlessly. Because you'll be at the top, but you can't worry about what other people think. You can't worry about what your peers say. You need to listen to spirit. You need to listen to your heart, your soul. People is highly critical. You gotta have compassion for yourself and have compassion for others and understand people are not gonna know what you're doing. So they don't always have something to say. And I know that makes you anxious and confused. But you got to learn how to breathe and meditate and you can't worry about that. People going to have something to say if you're doing everything perfect. It's going to be something said. It's just how people are. They low vibrational and very judgmental people. You, God say judge not, but people do it all the time. But they need to look at their own backyard before they start judging other people. You have a good understanding of what this person needs and their problems, and you're very charismatic and very open-minded, and they like that about you. They may have a difficulty of certain they self into a relationship or approaching you collective, because you're very vital to their love and happiness and their relationship, so it's like... They're trying to think of ideas or thoughts. They're trying to maybe throw thoughts in your mind. For some of you, it's 
Ask God to block out any telepathy. They could be sending you stuff or trying to pull from your intuition, trying to get you to call them, to follow them. But follow your gut and realize that you're not calling nobody. Follow your intuition. This person is a smooth operator. They're trying to throw, like, uh, love spells at your things in your mind to make you come back or to think about them. Yet they're in another relationship. Could be a water sign I'm talking to. Cam Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I was going to say Capricorn. So it could be a Cancer, Capricorn placement. Earth, water placements I'm speaking of. You need to not focus on outside opinions. People will let you down every time if you do that. You're idealistic. Your position is just as important as anybody else. I don't know, guys. I'm going with it. About to get out of it in a second. They're going to know your name. You have trouble limiting yourself to one job or one relationship, and you're just like one track minded. Spirit is saying you need to open your mind. You think of me, myself, and I. Very impatient. That's a broken, that's a broken, that comes from a broken heart or a broken timeline or something that broke back in your childhood. Spirit is saying you need to, to heal that. Ask God to heal that brokenness inside of you. Because it's making you very selfish. Very impatient. Some of y'all is making y'all stay in these relationships and you're limiting yourself and you're saying that's all you can do. And that's not true. Self-sabotaging. You're traditional and you're conservative and you stick with what you know and it's okay, but you can take a risk. We had the fool card out here. And the risk is you need to go on your path. Some of y'all need to go on your path. Okay. The Holy Spirit will put them in their place, but you need to get on your purpose. You talking to Africa? I don't know, African American, I don't know. Get your confidence up. Achieve your goals. Some of y'all could be worrying about what, what they're going to do or the black magic or the devil or stuff. The Spirit is saying, ask God to, to heal you. Focus on your goals and your abundance and your growth and your aspirations. Stop focusing so much on flesh and sex and the body and things that distract you. Distraction kills. And stop worrying about what your peers think. Because your peers is just as fake as you. If you fake and you're around peers, what do you think they are? You think you got some real friends? They just as fake. Unknown caller. Okay. You don't know how they is for real. Spirit so say you always going with the flow. You don't like to make waves, but you need to make waves. You don't like to make waves up to, amongst your friends. And you know what? This speaks to me, too. And sometimes I do give around my friends because I'm more of a loner. So when I go around my friends, I'm always trying to make sure they good. <laughs> but it's it's okay. But you don't want to make it into codependency because that is a little bit of part of codependency because you don't need to be making sure everybody okay. That's they That's their job to make themselves okay you are just a friend so you just need to be there for a relationship as far as your friendship with them but not to please them because they should be happy with them anyway you shouldn't be there to make nobody happy you really don't be, need to be going around making people happy how you make people happy is that happiness come from within god is happiness your joy come from within your soul mind body heart then you express that out because it flows out and it makes others happy. But you don't supposed to be shutting yourself down within and then making everybody happy. That's a part of codependency. That's a part of low self-esteem. It's like you're looking outside of, for something to please you or to please others. 
that's people pleasing. You don't supposed to be doing that. The only pleasure you need to be pleasing is yourself, for real, for real. Even when, because you ever notice when you're happy within yourself, you can treat your kids better. You can take more they they should you know stuff that they do every day. Cause you're happy within. You're more calmer. You're like, hey, all right, kids, whatever. You do this. We got it. I got this. Right? Because you're happy within. When you're not happy within and you're looking outside somebody's opinions and, okay, let me wear this today and see what they tell me about this. And if you're making, if you're, if you're basing a compliment or a view or someone saying, oh, you're cute or hairstyle based on your self-esteem, that means that you got very low self-esteem. You don't even supposed to be basing none of that off of how you feel because, if that's the case, then the next day somebody say, "Oh, you ugly." That means you gon' you gon' cry for four forty forty four on the clock. I mean, people moves change all day long. If you just worrying about what a peer think, you'll be going up and down all day. So you gotta get yourself right first, and then if somebody compliments you, you go, "Okay, thank you." You just confirmed how I've been feeling all day. You know what I mean? That's confidence. You got to build your confidence. You got to take full advantage of your senses. Use your imagination. Use your intuition. And I'm back shuffling. I wasn't going to shuffle today. Okay, so we got knobby knuckles back out. So some of y'all, you guys are... <sighs> the one you with, they're not a believer of anything. Okay, they're not successful. They're a slacker. All they do is fight. All they do is fight you. Some of y'all are in abusive relationships. They don't work. They don't do anything. Trust me, I've been in one of them. Love them so much. They don't do nothing for you but give you pain and suffering. And they fight you. That's what they do. And you think that's love. And it's not. Love don't hurt like that. But here we go with comparing. They're saying that you are <laughs> highly sensitive and you're a lover of the arts and you're not money driven. So somebody, they ain't got no money for this person. They could be fighting this person. This person go crazy when they ain't got no money. They could be on drugs or something. This person is yearning for your love. They want to express their deepest feelings, but it's in reverse. It's like, this is what they want to do, but they're not making no moves, so... All right, guys, we're going to end it there. 42.42 on the clock. Make sure y'all like and subscribe and book a reading. All right, once again, this is your channel messages from the Palm Reading Cards. What goes around comes around. Deja Vu Tarot.